welcome back to Monday Movie Hunting, the best way to start your week. Yes, it's here, it is the 9th of February today, and we're Monday Movie Hunting. Now, remember, next week won't be a proper Monday Movie Hunt, it'll just be me sitting down talking about the movies that are coming out, um, which I do really want to do for next week, because um, there's a lot of movies coming out. I was going to pick up three next week, actually, and obviously I'm, I'm not here, so I'm not going to, but um, I am actually going to send my mum to pick up one movie in Pacific, in particular in particular um don't know what's happened there uh, in particular for me on the monday so that then and then um i know that i've definitely picked that up and then when i get back what am i trying to say and then when i get back i will be picking up a few others that came out next week which will be the what day is it next week um 17th no the 15th it'll be the 15th the 17th god i was skipping ahead it'll be like the 15th or the 16th so this week though so yeah next week will be a different kind of monday movie home but do not worry i have a lot to say about the movies coming out so that'll be really exciting anyway and i'd love to hear your thoughts on it um either way but let's go back to this week because this is the week that's now uh, the major runner comes out today you guys know i really did want to pick that up but i have not read the book yet and i have the book and i want to read the book first so i was like you know what I don't need to pick it up and not watch it for a month. I will pick it up on Blu-ray at some point when I finish the book. Maybe as soon as I finish the book or when I'm right near the end of the book, then I'll order the Blu-ray and it'll be happy times. Um, so yeah, I do really want to see that one. I'd love to know your thoughts, but I definitely want to read the book first, so I'm not going to pick that up. Um, the another movie coming out today is um, Magic in the Moonlight. I really want to see Magic in the Moonlight, but I won't be picking it up today. I probably will pick it up soon-ish. I do really want to see it. And in my last video, I said um, that it was the next movie that Woody Allen did since midnight in paris and then um somebody said oh no he actually did da -da 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 -da, since and one of them was blue jasmine and i was like oh yeah i even own blue jasmine no it's by him i didn't even think about it my mind just tra trailed away um so that was actually kind of funny but yeah so it's just another movie by him somebody's shouting what are they shouting anyway um so yeah i do really want to see magic in the moonlight but i'll pick it up at some point in the near future also, that comes out today is The Best of Me, which is the new kind of Nicholas Sparks movie adaptation type thing. And I have seen all of his movie adaptation, wait, book to movie adaptation movies. Um, so I will be picking that up at some point, but it's not one I'm going to rush out and buy on the first day. But today, today I am be picking up a movie, Ambi. Oh, what is wrong with me today? I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind today. Um, Hector and the Search for Happiness. I can't wait to watch it. I'm really excited. It's got Simon Pegg and Rosamund Pike, who I've been enjoying all her movies I've seen so far. Um, what we did in our holiday and Gone Girl. And I can't wait to see it. And I even rang. I rang Sainsbury's before I came to check that they've got it. They have it. I'm happy because I didn't want to come here and be disappointed again. You guys know how it's been. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to be filled with disappointment. So they have it. I've rang. So let's go in, have a look at those movies, see what they've got and have a ponder around. And hopefully, yeah, so let's go. Okay, so here's the Blu-ray section. There's the Mage Runner for $14.99 and it comes with a free Blu-ray, which is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Now, I looked on the back and obviously they put Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief next to uh, the Mage Runner, so I was confused. I was like, looking at it like, huh? And then I figured it out. Look, see, it's you can't see the back of the Mage Runner because of this situation, so I don't know what the special features are. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. Yeah, and there's Dracula Untold, which I think also came out today. Uh, let me know if you've seen that one. Uh, that was $12.99. There's the special features there. Um, and then is that just the normal Blu-ray? Is that the 3D? No, just the normal Blu-ray. Here's the Maze Runner DVD, 9.99, which also comes with um, Lightning Thief. We'll look at that later. Here's What If with Daniel Radcliffe. That was 9.99. Be interested to know if you've seen this. Here is the um, special features for this one. Um, it's also got the girl from Movie Sparks in, so yeah, that's kind of cool. There's Magic in the Moonlight with Emma Stone and Colin Firth, um, the movie directed by Woody Allen. Really interested to see this one, I keep saying about it, but I will pick it up at some point soon. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited to see it, I'm looking forward to that. So let me know if you've seen that, I'd love to know your thoughts. Uh, I'm not the biggest Colin Firth fan, but I'm, I do want to see it. Here's the rewrite with Hugh Grant. Uh, I do really like Hugh Grant, so I kind of really want to see it. So also, I believe it's from the people who did Music and Lyrics, which is an okay movie, you know, I quite like it, it's fine. Um, so yeah, if you've seen that one, let me know as well. What's next? Hector and the Search for Happiness, yay! With um, Simon Pegg and Rosamund, what's her name? I keep forgetting her name. Rosamund Pike, is that her name? Or who knows? She's from Gone Girl and What We Did in Our Holiday. It's also got Tony Collette in. Uh, yeah, I picked that up, so I'm excited about that. There's Enemy with Jake Gyllenhaal. Really want to know if any of you have seen this from the director of Prisoners, which I absolutely love. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal is really great. I, I'm interested to see this, but I've heard it's kind of complicated and confusing. But I'd definitely like to know your thoughts if you've seen it. I'm um, really interested about this film, so I do want to see that at some point soon. Here's The Best of Me, the Nicholas Sparks one. That's 9.99 as well. Um, so yeah, like, yeah, and I've seen all the other Nicholas Sparks movies, so I will be seeing this at some point soon. Uh, it's just not one that I pick up on the first day, so that was a look at that. And here's The Unbeatables, which is like a football 
um, animation movie with Rupert Grint as a voice. And yeah, I haven't really heard anybody talk about this, but I just, you know, so that's that one. I don't really know much about it, but there it is. Um, and uh, here's the bargain section. They have Step Up 5 for £7, Gravity, Chef, Out of the Furnace was 5 um, Live Diary Pete 7 oh, It's called not Live Diary Pete. I keep always getting that wrong. Left Behind's gone down to 6 um, Earth to Echo 7 And here's the Blu-ray thing. Like I said, Major and Dracula Untold, but there's not really anything else in the Blu-ray section today new. But the DVD section, however, has a bunch of new ones, as I've just shown you. But here was me trying to like be like, look, all these new ones! Um, so yay! They're all the new Blu-rays. Here is the Mage Runner, the DVD. And again, what happened when I turned it over? It was the back of the Percy Jackson DVD. And I love how I, I honestly didn't realise at first, because I was looking through the camera, and then I was like, wait, wait a minute. Okay guys, so we're back out from the Sainsbury's and I got Hector in the search for happiness. I cannot wait to watch it, review it and talk about it. Now I'm going to go to the petrol station, then I'm going to go home and then we'll talk about the things that we saw because a lot of things did come out today. Okay, so we are back and as you guys know, I bought Hector in the search for happiness. Like I say, I cannot wait to watch this and plus, hasn't Rosamund Pike been in a lot of movies lately? What we did in our holiday, Gone Girl, I've enjoyed both of those so looking forward to this and I do like Simon Pegg as well. So what else came out today? The Maze Runner and as we saw, both the DVD and the Blu-ray came with Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, the Blu-ray or the DVD. Which is really cool because I actually really enjoy that movie. I prefer the second one I think, but I still really enjoy the first one. Um, some people argue, you know, they don't really match with the books, but I kind of look at them as separate things. So that's kind of really cool because it is free, so that's awesome, but I already own the first movie. Um, so I wasn't too too bothered about that myself. Um, but the only other thing is, when you turn the back of the Blu-ray and the DVD over, I didn't realise this straight away, that obviously the back is the back of Percy Jackson, not the Mage Runner, because it's the second one, I don't know. So, that, so we don't know what special features it has, but you know. Um, and then also Dracula Untold was there today. I thought I was supposed to come out last week, but I guess it came out this week, so let me know if you've seen that. And then we had What If with um, Daniel Radcliffe and the girl out of Ruby Sparks. So if you've seen that, let me know. There was also, oh, Enemy, Enemy. Okay, I really want to know your guys' thoughts on Enemy with Jake Gyllenhaal. I've heard that it's pretty confusing, but I definitely do want to see it because it's from the same people who did Prisoners. And I thought Prisoners was absolutely fantastic. It's an amazing movie. I need to watch it again soon. So yeah, Prisoners was awesome. Jake Gyllenhaal, I think, is really awesome at the moment. Um, I definitely do want to check out Enemy at some point soon. So please let me know if you've seen Enemy and what you thought about it. I've heard kind of mixed things and I've heard that it's pretty um, like confusing to figure out. But I definitely want to know your thoughts because I do want to see that at some point soon. So yeah, there was What If Enemy. There was also the rewrite with um, Hugh Grant. I'm a big fan of Hugh Grant. I don't know why, but I just really am. So I kind of really do want to see that at some point as well. And there was also... Hmm... Um, so what if, oh Magic in the Moonlight, that was it, Magic in the Moonlight of course, that I keep talking about and then I've just forgotten, and there was Magic in the Moonlight, and then there was obviously Hector in the Search for Happiness, and then there was also The Best of Me, which is a Nicholas Sparks one, uh, let me know if you've seen that one, I like I say have seen all the other Nicholas Sparks movies, my favourite one is probably, I've actually got a best of words, but I can't remember what I said my favourite one there was, my favourite one is probably probably the notebook but then second to that I like Safe Haven which I'm sure but I might be wrong was the one that came out previous to The Best of Me and um, yeah so if you've seen The Best of Me let me know what you think in terms of comparison to the other Nicholas Sparks ones and then also the untouchable what's it called the un I don't know what it's called it's the little football animation movie with Rupert Grint as a voice that also came out today um I've not heard anybody talk about that so if you know anything about that let me know down in the comments below but yeah pretty much that is the money movie hunt this week guys thank you so much for watching like I say next week's will be a little bit different but I hope that you're still tuning because I have a lot of thoughts to talk about on basically we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles we've got um Book of Life We've got Alexandra and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day, Dolphin Tail 2, and some other things as well. Um, so yeah, I actually really, really want to talk about those ones particularly. Um, so hopefully you guys will just tune in for my sitting down talking video, and then I can get your thoughts, and let me know if you picked any of it up. Uh, yeah, I always love to do read in the comments on the Monday Movie Hunts, because you guys always have maybe seen some of the movies, or have some opinions and stuff, and it's a lot of fun. So yeah, until then guys, I will see you next time, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then, have a great week, goodbye!